Hey guys, Dodger Josh Axe here. Welcome to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Today I'm going to be talking about bath bombs and the toxicity of these bath bombs today and talking about how to take a natural bath and some of my favorite essential oils to use to really soothe and help heal your body. And hey, I appreciate everybody who's jumping online right now. And I also want to say thank you for being part of this episode. I know so many of you guys are have a lot you're doing and a lot going on. So again, really excited you could be here with me. And I want to say this as well. Hey, help me share this right now. You know the number of people that are dropping these bombs into their bathtub and it's actually destroying their health and their kids' health. So help me spread the word right now. Take a minute, punch that share button, click that like button. Let's teach people how to use food and essential oils and herbs as medicine and not use these bath bombs. I'm going to jump in and let's talk about this. So Bath bombs, these are things, and some of you may not even know what these are, but bath bombs are these sort of these balls of toxins and fragrances and antibacterials that you can drop in the bath to, to, to clean yourself, you know, and, and here's the problem, they're loaded with toxic fragrances, fra fragrances. These have been shown to actually harm the kidneys and the liver, and these are in these bath bombs. Number two, they're full of dyes which may affect and cause a toxic bloodstream. So we know dyes actually have been linked to ADHD in children. A lot of these food dyes and dyed chemicals, those are found in these bath bombs. They've also been linked to UTIs. You know what? They have a lot of, they put, just like they put, there's antibacterial hand soap. Well, these are antibacterial and contain compounds like triclosan, which have been linked to liver damage. But here's the other big thing they do. They kill the good bacteria in your gut known as probiotics and within your urinary tract. When that happens, that's going to increase the risk of UTIs, that's urinary tract infections on a regular basis. Glitter. There's glitter in these bath bombs and other colorings that, are, that, that you shouldn't be soaking your whole body in as well. And here's something you gotta remember. Your skin is your body's largest organ. And certain things can't get in, but certain things can. Things that are very chemical-based, very small molecules can actually get from your skin into your bloodstream, and they're very, very unhealthy and toxic to your system. You know, again, they've also been correlated with yeast infections, as they also contain boric acid, another toxin. So I can't, couldn't encourage you more to stay away from bath bombs. Let's talk about what to use instead. Number one, Epsom salts. You know, Epsom salts are loaded with magnesium, which is known as the relaxation mineral. And magnesium has so many benefits. It's actually responsible for more than 200 biochemical actions within your body. And so um, Epsom salts, again, all of that magnesium is key. Magnesium has been shown to help lower blood pressure. It's been shown to help relieve headaches. It's been shown to help relieve tension in the neck and shoulders. It's been shown to help reduce muscle cramping and muscle spasms and help relieve sore muscles. It's been shown to help with anxiety and depression. The list goes on and on and on with the benefits of magnesium. It supports hydration of the body, it helps building strong bones. There you go. Epsom salts are a great way to get more magnesium into your body. Baking soda. Baking soda is very alkaline. It's alkalizing to the body. and can be very nourishing to the skin and support anti-aging. So baking soda, the other great thing about it, it's very cleansing, okay? It's, it's, it's one of the greatest natural cleaners out there. Today, in fact, I use baking soda in my homemade shampoo recipe. I use it as part of my natural toothpaste recipe as well. I use it as part of my natural deodorant recipe. It is very good for staying clean and fresh and keeping away certain types of bad bacteria that can cause body odor. So baking soda is a great thing to use in your bath in place of these bath bombs that are so toxic to the body. Homemade bath salts. You know, different types of salts uh, are full of electrolytes and those are also very cleansing to the body um, and also can help with any type of um, dampness within your body, you know. Um, have you ever been told if you had a sinus infection to you know, suck up some sea salt up your nostrils or gargle with salt water if you had mucus in your throat. Well, salt is drying, right? It can dry things up. Um, and so bath salts are very good for helping get rid of mucus and phlegm. So if you're sick with a cold or flu, soaking in some bath salts along with these other things can be very great for your body. And my favorite on this list 
is bath friendly essential oils. We know essential oils are beneficial for a number of things. I'm going to talk about my, some of my favorites here really quickly. You know, if you're struggling with some aches and pains and muscle issues, wintergreen oil and peppermint oil are great because they're cooling and soothing, whereas ginger oil and cinnamon are very warming. But for most people, again, if you're very sore or very hot, it's the middle of summer and you're wanting to sort of cool your body down, this is great for athletes. A little bit of peppermint and wintergreen oil, not a lot, just a little bit of peppermint oil in a bathtub can be very, very great for your skin there as well. Um, I'm gonna, let me show you some of my favorite recipes here. Here are some DIY recipes. Um, this is a soothing bath soak. If you really wanna soothe your body, three to five drops of lavender and rosemary oil together. Now, rosemary oil is actually great for naturally thickening your hair. Lavender oil is good for naturally relaxing your body. So this is a great one to do um, together to sort of ease withdrawal symptoms as well and actually curb food, uh, curb food craving. So if you're on a diet right now and you're sort of craving some foods, go and soaking in a tub full of rosemary and lavender may actually help with cravings. An anti-anxiety bath. Um, combine three cups of Epsom salts and one cup of baking soda and 20 to 30 drops of lavender essential oil and soak for 20 to 30 minutes. If you have anxiety, this is great. You know, the Epsom salts are full of magnesium, which is the relaxation mineral, which fights anxiety. Lavender oil has been proven to reduce anxiety as well. So this is a great type of anti-anxiety healing bath and a recipe you might like to follow. The sleepy time blend. My wife and I do this as well. We actually make a blend. Of, we use actually magnesium oil, and we mix that with chamomile oil and lavender oil, and ylang ylang oil is another great one. Mixing those together, rubbing it on our neck and sort of our shoulders and chest and back, and it is a great uh, blend for sleeping, and you can also do those very same things in the bathtub. So here's what you need to know. Number one, don't use bath bombs. They are like bombing the good bacteria in your body. It's destroying your health. They've got chemical fragrances, dyes. They can cause UTIs and yeast infections, can also contain boric acid. Safer options, Epsom salts, baking soda, homemade bath salts, and essential oils. So remember, stay away from the bath bombs. and stay, Instead, use these natural beauty bombs with essential oils, a much better option. And hey, if you've enjoyed this live video, do me a favor, punch that share button, click that like button. There's a lot of people using these chemicals and they don't realizing, they're not realizing the damaging effects it's ha happening on their body. And hey, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube and our Facebook uh, pages here as well. Guys, it's been Dr. Axe talking about the dangers of bath bombs.